Welcome to episode 54 from the Western Australian Goldfields again. I'm going to do a day trip up to Gwalior today. From what I hear, the whole little town is a museum. You can uh, wander right through the area. I'll see how I go. Sounds very interesting. It's a butcher bird outside. Getting the little bugs that got stuck to the car. It's the Jew. Yeah, it looks like a butcher bird. There's no idea I'm looking at it. Yeah, it's getting the little mosquitoes and things that got stuck to the windscreen. That's one way of cleaning the car. Oh, there's someone else. Something else. Thanks for cleaning my car. I love driving this time of morning, these colours. This is the little information bay at uh, Leonora. Well, this is a really old grader. The wall is only uh, a few kilometres from Leonora. Only at all. See this old hotel in a few pictures. So this was Western Australia's first government owned and built hotel to control the illegal liquor or sly grog trade. A little uh, little town site here. So kind of how they what they were like, but I think a lot of them been refurbished as well. So it's basically they describe it as two tents, kind of joined on. So you can actually go inside. Oh wow! Oh, like a Material lined roof and hessian walls. Oh, yeah, there's a kitchen in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's good you can uh, you can actually come in here and uh, have a look at these. Little yard out the back, or is this the front? Could be the front. Function house, look at that up here now. Is it open or just open? Metal. It's amazing, it's like a 
pioneer village you pay money to go into except it's free and you can go into these houses all the bricks used as the floor yes yeah, so a lot of these were where the pit is now so they've been relocated Torpedo bottles. Major's boarding house. Quite a few of these are um, from around the 1930s. Some of these homes. It's power pole. What does it say? Buller's Limited, London. Yeah, so these houses have whole families living in them. Patroni guest home. Up to 70 men were fed each day. See lots of pressed metal in these places. Oh, it's great how it's all open. Oh, look at the giant bath. This one's got a whole bunch of old number plates. like a mechanics workshop in here. Okay. I wonder if anyone comes in and actually uses it by mistake. Sly Grog Shop. Sly Grog. Have some Sly Grog. obvious what that is. Lock up. 1903. Hmm, it's bigger than my car. Oh, you can live in that. So 1996 marks the centenary of the Sons of Gwalia mine opening and they had a big refurbishment of this area. It's hard to refurbish that. What an interesting place. So there's the mine there, the Sons of Gwalia Mine. The town right next to it. And there's the old hotel. I wonder there are mining vehicles around. Right on the edge of the mine. There's a swimming pool just through there. Right on the edge. An old swimming pool. The pool was opened in 1942. So they've left it here. I was just talking to the lady. The town was there, in there. So the, the actual open cut is where the town was.
buy a card. This was one of the trains, or the train. I think they used to have a double decker one as well. And apparently about 1915 the power station burnt down, so the electric tram had to be replaced with a petrol driven. So the original mine was called the Sons of Gwalior. This was originally a horse drawn buggy which underwent major modifications. All these old steam train parts. Yeah, so this engine was part of the uh, woodline rail system which used to supply the timber to the mines it's to run everything, machinery, boilers, things like that. And There's one of those push me, pull you things you often see in the shows. These old carriages. Great place to have a museum, right on the edge of the mine there. It says here Gwalior is the deepest trucking mine in the world. 1600 meters. Look like little Tonka toys. It takes 80 minutes for a truck to travel 11 kilometers. The winder shed. I don't know the size of this thing. I think when you walk in, you set off a, a recording of what it probably sounds like. So this was the largest steam winder in Australia. And they said that the winder operator was the highest paid person in the mine. So there's the winder shed and the cable. Heading up there. Yeah, so with the winder and this uh, head frame, it would lower the workers down into the mine. And it's the largest surviving head frame. So the head frame was built in 1899, transferred men, horses, ore and mine equipment between the surface and the underground levels. And these would be the little cars that probably put the people and ore in. Ore would probably be in that. And there's another little car up there. So the Sons of Gwalia Reef was discovered in 1896. Herbert Hoover was appointed superintendent of the Sons of Gwalia Mine in 1898 at 24. So he became the uh, 33rd president of the United States. Got a table here. It takes 1200 degrees to melt gold. 55 degrees to cook an egg, 200 degrees to bake bread. This is the assay office, so they used to determine uh, the quality of the gold. And designed by Herbert Hoover, built in 1898. 
on the old miner's lamps. This one's got a little candle. Scales. There's a big pair of scales. So they had a uh, furnace here so they could melt it down and this is where they determine the quality of the of the minerals apparently to see whether it was worth continuing with that section out yeah, the early mines oh, this is such a fantastic museum wow so this was a mine office built in 1898 using bricks made on site designed by Herbert Hoover so the miners would rarely come here except every second week to collect their pay. So apparently they'd get their pay from there and they'd go to this window and sign for it. Have a look at this. This is how some of the workers had to get their homes here. Horse drawn. This is a photo of Gwalia from uh, Mount Leonora. Photo says. So, accident causes damage to the head frame and underground operations cease. 1963, 64 becomes a ghost town. 83, the open pit era. Preserving Gualia. New mining phase, 2005. So this is Hoover House. Herbert Hoover's old house. This is a BNB. I think I'm allowed to walk in. So, 1999, that was 2,000 pounds. In 2020, that's 1.2 million. 23 kilos. There's Herbert Hoover at age 23. So, I think these are these are BNBs. So, these are the rooms. I've just been walking through the Hoover house filming the bedrooms and I think it's a B&B so I think I was okay to go in there yeah, it's got this brochure yeah it is Hoover house is a bed and breakfast a nice place to have a B&B is that for a view yeah so obviously it was originally all tunnels and now it's an open cut mine i think they started it in 1983 if i read the um, boards right there goes another truck it's great that they got so many lots of machinery and equipment from the mine here just everywhere got so many uh, places to view so many lookouts Good with letting you have a look. So it says here on the Did You Know board, the gold mine here is mineralised and not usually visible. And the gold bars produced are approximately 91% gold, 8% silver, and 1% other metal impurities. Yeah, so I've sort of come about 236 kilometers north of Kalgoorlie so I'm basically level with Gerald and so <laughs> yeah do I travel back to Kalgoorlie or sort of have a head north more I don't know and I'm waiting for a spare part from Toyota because uh, yeah New South Wales cars you've got to road worthy them each year and that's coming up so, yeah some decisions to make about three eagles here A bit close to the road, aren't you? Or is this where eagles dare? Oh, nice day for it. Well, I might finish off with another view of the breakaways. See, yeah, I spent about three days here at uh, Niagara Dam. It's been great coming up to all the goldfield areas. Hope to get back one day. Well, if you like that, don't forget the thumbs up and the notification button and subscribe button. 
course welcome to all the new subscribers as well now with the next video I'm going to head west and uh, see how much of the Golden Pipeline Heritage Trail I can find probably won't get to everything but uh, I'll see how I go as I head west uh, basically towards Mundaring Weir thanks for watching take care So many lookouts.